Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never wanna leave my home. Stay in the sheets, sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Use Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Uh, what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck that was, y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I am Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you are watching this outside of Twitch, please make a Twitch account. And subscribe to the channel. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to the channel for free for a month. I suggest you subscribe to the channel at tier three so you can get my latest project, my book, for free. And you get IMAC entry into the giveaway I'm doing, which I'm announcing this. I'm announcing everything today. Because Oh Snap is complete. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, check it out. It's changing every day. New, new and more shit just popping up. Amazing things, as usual. Y'all know what it is. It's Lord Shoe X. I'm back in this bitch. I'm sorry. I've been gone since Thursday, but I just had, I was trying to finish the album. But y'all, it is fucking done. Okay? The fucking album is finished. Now. Since it's done, that means I can tell you the name of this album, the release date, and all that good stuff. So, first, right now you are listening to Neath 1111, which is my uh, fourth volume of instrumentals that I dropped. 
Um, this will be the second body of work I dropped this year that's out right now. You can stream it anywhere on all the main streaming platforms. And if you want to listen to it for free, you can go to my website and go to my uh, Bandcamp discography. And you can listen to that whole tape for the free ski. As well as all my other works, you can listen to for free. And if you want to pay for them, they are, you can buy them at any given moment. Just thought I'd put that out there so y'all know there's music. If you like the music, you can listen to it. Matter of fact, I'll do you even one better. Put it up for you, man, because I care about y'all. You know, I don't want y'all to not have the shit. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I just put the link in the chat to the tape that's playing right now. It's called Neath 1111. Put the link to it in the chat if you want to listen to it and if you want to stream it. And y'all follow my Spotify. You know what I'm saying? I got music on there for ages. And I'm not taking down any of this music. So even though I'm switching to using Lord Shoe as my official artist name, I'm not taking down the Bandcamp. I'm not taking down my United Masters. I'm just going to stay with United Masters with the projects that I've already released. But that's it. They can, they can keep those projects. But all my new stuff will be released independently by myself. So if y'all want to get more from me, support your boy. Show love. Now, the project is done, y'all. I will get on here and talk about some other things. I mean, shit, who knows? I got an hour, so we'll see what happens. But for right now, we're going to talk about this tape. So the name of the album is Half-Blood Sultan, Volume 3, Book of Gab, Shoe Pro LP. The whole shit is a song. <laughs> so I type it type it in there for y'all. So when it drops, y'all will know what to type in. Now, the name of this tape came from all my previous bodies of work. And they all were long like this. The first one was called Book of Tefnit. Half Book Song Volume 1, Book of Tefnit. Second one was called Have Blood Soul Volume 2, Book of Shoe. And you know I had to make it rhyme. Because, I mean, come on. Book of Shoe was the second tape that came out. And it was called uh, Depressing of Foreign 666. And this is the last volume, Have Blood Soul and Tapes. There will be no more projects under this name. That's why y'all been seeing this commercial for the past month. This is the last Half Blood song tape, y'all. I'm not doing no more music under that name. Like, I don't give a fuck if people ask me, yo, man, I need one of them Half Blood verse. I don't give a fuck, nigga. And really, right now, I'm a better I'm a better writer than I was when I was Half Blood Soul. I'm gonna just keep it funky with you. I haven't even tapped into my final form yet. Like, trust me, this new music I'm about to make is about to make all the shit I ever created look like trash, so... Like, this volume three is the most recent shit, and it's not even recent. These are songs I've been working on since 2017. And I dropped Depressing the Foreign in 2018. So that means these songs were being made while I was completing Depressing the Foreign. Or volume two, Book of Shoot. So, just know, the shit is, is out here. I, I keep music on deck, man. All I do is make. Like, I be sitting on demos. I'm sitting on songs now that I, I've been put out for years, so. Basically, this project is the culmination of all these bodies of work. It's uh the first two albums tell the story. You get the whole story from volume one, because basically that was a story in itself. Volume one started the story. Volume two is the beginning, the middle of the story. And volume three is the end. I'm wrapping it up, so, you know. You get the whole story. If you listen to all three bodies of work, you'll know exactly the story that's being told here. The story of a young person trying to find their creative self as well as trying to take care of themselves, trying to uh, be in a relationship while going through modern day society and just, you know, like just the typical life of a primordial person. But there's a lot of themes that all humans and primordials can relate to and all these bodies of work. So, like I said, if you want to 
check out all the work that I've done. You can visit this link as well. Play all the good tunes. I got probably about 30 projects total. Yeah, I want to say 30 projects total on there. So y'all can check them projects out. See what y'all feeling. Um, basically, the way this is going to go is on... Well, the album is dropping October 5th, which is, uh, I want to say International Teacher's Day or World Teacher's Day. So, you know, it, it only makes sense to drop that shit on that day. But I'm dropping the project on October 5th, officially. But the only way you can get this project is if you go to the website where the merch to the... the um, you gotta buy the merch. So you buy the merch. Once you buy the merch, then you can um, buy the merch and then I'll give you the album for free. If Or you buy my book. So you either buy my merch or you buy my book. And you get the album for free. With the book or the merch. And if you buy the merch, I'll give you the book and the album for free. If you subscribe at tier three, I give you the book and the album for free. If you, yeah, basically, and you also automatically get entered in to the giveaway. So, and if you win the giveaway, you get the album before everybody else. So you'll be the first person to get the album for free. The book, the album, and some merch some unreleased merch that nobody is even able to get like you'll have to go get that shit from well some of it is a mixture of all the stores that i have up on the website so you can get you can buy this stuff if you wanted to get more of it but i'm pretty sure like this this merch that i'm selling is pretty much exclusive like you get the uh you get some shit that nobody's getting basically so that's one part of it. A good, I would say it's a good incentive for you to just buy the merch or subscribe at tier three. Oh, looky, looky. So I got asked to do a show on September 26th. I would, but that would mean I will have to go drive to um, New Orleans. And honestly, I don't know if I'm willing to do that. <laughs> so... Probably not. But yeah, that's basically what's going on as of right now. I, pre I pretty much uh, have the first single, Slave, to come out on September the 2nd. And that song is called Shoes Comeback. Which makes sense. It's my first song coming back as a, a official artist since fucking 2018. That was the last time I dropped a whole body of work. So 2018 is so fucking long ago. It seems like just yesterday I was making music, but you know how it goes, man. One day you making music, the next day you writing a book, the day after that you recording a TV show. So my life kind of just end up wherever the fuck it decides to take me. And I'm, I'm not one to just step in and like stop shit from happening. I like when shit just happens on its own, you know, naturally. You know, I don't wanna, I don't like taking away from certain shit happening anyways so the adventure you know what i'm saying you gotta have the adventure bro i like adventure keeps life interesting mm. sorry i'm yawning so much y'all I, I really didn't sleep well last night and then on top of that i went to sleep earlier today in the middle of the fucking day so they just fucked up my whole like yeah, I'm gonna probably end up being up late and then sleeping for like 10 minutes and then like fucking sleep schedule is just all trash right now. So I apologize for the, the excessive yawn. <laughs> so the first single coming out is called Shoes Come Back and it will be everywhere on all platforms. Oh, snap. Okay, so damn. I wonder if I'm able to show y'all. All right, y'all. So, 
Well, let me watch this video first because she might, I don't know, she be kind of doing some crazy stuff. God, man, I like it though. I probably gotta go over here. Oh, shit, man. All right, so Tamasha Gari just sent me a video. She just got a fucking dragon, a red dragon tatted on her fucking face, y'all. <laughs> this nigga's so cold, bro. She already cold as fuck, but like, this nigga just like fucking got a dragon tattooed on her face. That shit is crazy. But this girl is crazy, y'all. She's a fucking alien for real. Like, straight up. <laughs> I don't even know how this nigga found me. I think, oh yeah, cause she an alien. She, uh, I put this song out a long time ago called Nibiru. This was on, this song was on volume one too. But I put it on Keys to the Island, which if you want to hear it, matter of fact, I'll throw it in the fucking, I might as well throw it in the chat, man. Uh, Let me see. I go to my website entirely too much. So the song is called Nibiru, and it was on volume one. Uh, damn. I'm trying to see if I can just get the song just by itself. All right, hold up. Let me find my SoundCloud. Found it. All right, so the song is called Nibiru, and it's on Case of the Island, but it was also on, it was originally on uh, Volume One. Have a song X Volume One. So this song was about me being a sad, sad, sad man. Your profile on Twitch. Siri suggestion. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, Siri had a suggestion for me. So my phone been on some cool business type shit lately. And that's really why I bought this phone. So I can't do anything freaky on there. But I fucking uh, put Nibiru out and she found this song. And then I guess she found my social media. And we've just been cool ever since. She be putting out some fire ass music too. So y'all should check Tamashi Gary out. She got some fire. She actually just dropped a tape on the 7th of August or the 8th of August. But, yeah, this nigga's cold as shit. Got the fucking dragon tattoo. And I've been doing Qigong, so I've been thinking about maybe possibly doing some Qigong videos. Or just streaming while I'm doing Qigong. I don't know yet. It's kind of hard to do shit like that because I'm in a really small space, so I'll have to find a good place to do it. But we'll see what happens. Eventually, I'll be able to do it. I just don't know for how long, but... That's one of those things that I just have to figure out. I try it out first. I might just record like a segment. You know what I'm saying? Like record a, a video of it and then just throw it up there so that y'all can do it with me. Because that would be what I really want to do is do them sessions with y'all in the daytime so that y'all can, can do the shit with me. But who knows? It's just an idea I have for right now because I've been wanting to do... Qigong or yoga. I really been wanting to do yoga with y'all too. You know, just doing a yoga session. But I think I'm more interested in doing Qigong anyways. Yoga is cool, but Qigong is cooler. <laughs> Not saying that I like any country's spiritual thing over another because I use them all. But I just know what works for me and my body and how I get the energy moving. And that shit helps my circulation way better than yoga ever did. I don't know why, but yoga, like my... My body parts will still be cold doing yoga. As opposed to doing Qigong, I don't even have to move as much. And I'm already like flaming hot burning. Fire. I think that's why I haven't been sleeping. And why I have so much fucking energy. Because 
doing that shit it just seems to like set me on fire and I just stay like flamed up. So I gotta find like a come down. Qigong workout. I don't even know if I would call it a workout. It's more or less like a it's like a meditation, but why are you using your body? That's really why I like doing it, because I like meditate while I'm fucking moving my body and getting like fit and making my muscles and bones strong and shit like that. Stretching out my ligaments. So this shit's pretty lit, man. I fucks with it. And I can't wait to do some videos with y'all to see if y'all gonna fuck with it, cause for right now, I have some more projects that I have to catch up and I gotta finish, but these ones won't take as long as opposed to doing fucking shoe pro. Oh my God, that fucking shit took forever. That shit took years, y'all. Really, it was the longest project. Cause you gotta think, 2017, September of 2017, I really started that project. You feel me? And it's 2021, it's about to be September in like a few days. So, was it fucking four years? Yeah, four years I've been working on this project. I should have, I should whip my own ass. But that's the end of waiting years and years for me to put projects out. Cause I be living life so fucking excitingly. It just seems never ending. But y'all know how it go, man. Just fucking so much shit be going on. It's hard for me to keep track of so much shit at one time. That's why I have to like break down all these projects and then I can focus on shit more. So the streams are going to be actually changing. So all the music, instead of me fucking putting a hundred links, I'm about to do a radio show while I'm having my talk. So in the, like basically there's going to be a theme each episode, but like how I do now, but I'm going to be playing music throughout the whole shit. So, I'll have my, like, shit set up how I wanted to, and then we're gonna, we're gonna be live kicking it from the fucking shit. I might keep my face on here, I might not. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure out what visuals I want to put on here. Because I start the video edits, I was gonna start them today, but I want to make sure that I have down pat what exactly I'm gonna be doing from here on out. Like having it put into a hard copy so that when I get on here, I have my hard copy around in the beginning parts of these episodes. And then as time increases, you know, we start really doing this shit how we want to do it. Getting people more interactive in the show. And then, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be more interactive and y'all will be hearing the music. I might make some music live on here. Who knows? Definitely gonna be debuting records on this shit as well. So, like, I got a surprise for all my Twitch people who watching the stream, man. Make sure y'all have y'all schedules freed up on. Let's see, let me find the date. On October the second, make sure you got your your six p.m. stream. Y'all know what time I get on this bitch, six p.m. Make sure y'all free up your schedule. Uh, October the 2nd and you know, I'll let y'all know in the commercial and shit too what's going on But October the 2nd, I will be streaming the entire shoe pro album And y'all can hear it before everybody else do now granted I'm gonna be promoting this stream because you know, I want more people to be watching the stream, but I'm gonna promote the stream I'm gonna be on there with y'all so y'all gonna see me while I'm bopping to the stream Letting y'all know I'm here and we just gonna be fucking turned up, man. Like enjoying ourselves. I might might grab a little little nightcap. You know, I got some uh some sake. I might get on some of that shit today to be honest with you, man. Some warm sake. Can't beat that shit. Water and warm sake be good. But I'll probably do that. Get on that shit. Motherfucking free your schedule up so we can have a little fucking online party. I think that's what they call it, a watch party, where I just fucking be on on the shit. But, you know, I do my due diligence and figure out how to make this shit the best I can make it. So I got time. We got the whole month of September and the rest of this month to get through before I drop the project and shit. So the first single coming out, Shoes Come Back, is dropping on September 2nd. 
So keep your eyes peeled. Um, keep your eye on my Instagram and my social media, cause I will be dropping the cover officially on uh, on Instagram probably probably pretty soon. The front cover and the back cover. And if I have any bonus tracks, if you uh, if you decide to buy the album from Bandcamp, you can get the uh, you can get the fucking full full uh, cover and back cover and shit like that. But man, I'm trying to tell you, shit going coming in hot, man. Like that little meme song. That fucking shit, you'll be able to hear it everywhere. It'll definitely be on my Instagram and my uh, TikTok and all that shit. So as soon as these songs release, you know it's going to be on TikTok. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, dropping officially to the world. Shit's going to be nice. I can't, I'm excited. I can't wait to finally put some music out so y'all can hear the new shit. The, new, the newest shit that's coming. And the sun out today, so you know shit is chill. But you know, new shit, new new video edits, of course new streams. I don't know if I want to talk about anything today in particular besides this because I don't want this stream to just be some random shit. I guess I can tell y'all what's been going on though, as far as like my personal shit. Um I know we talked about shadow work a lot. I was going through that for a while, but Man, fuck it. So I figured out my path, my spiritual path to follow, which is Qigong. Which is why I want to uh, get on here with y'all and show y'all some of the things I've been doing. Now, I'm fresh to Qigong, so I'm not calling myself a master of Qigong or anything. I'm learning, and I like to learn with y'all. You know, I like to uh, show my process to the people and see if I can't get more people interested in finding their spiritual path or end up, you know, becoming interested in the spiritual path that I choose to get on. So the more that I tell people about this type of shit and the more people see it, the more they can relate to it and get involved with the shit. Cause you know, the more people that's practicing finding their inner, inner, uh, light and finding their peace, that's more people that can help each other out. You know what I'm saying? If we all helping each other out to bring more peace to the world, man, that's what we want. That's why I like this fucking channel, because, you know, I can get more people in here. And we can really talk about some real shit. You know what I'm saying? But rest assured, man, uh, I'm definitely going to be trying to include y'all in my spiritual journey, of course. You know, I might not be able to interact with y'all because I want y'all to enjoy the process first before I start getting on here and doing live streams. But it's no worries. Shit is coming soon, you know what I'm saying? Shit is coming motherfucking soon. So, in the meantime, we just gonna keep shit real. And we gonna have our fun. Uh, every day is a new day for me to go deeper into this process. I've really been learning a lot about the movements and controlling energy and just finding out how I feel about using the energy itself and building on that. The more I build on that energy, the better off I'll be and the better off other people who watch this stream will be because they'll be able to learn something from me. When it comes to uh, energy training and energy controlling, healing people, energy healing, um, Breathing properly, intentions, setting intentions. Like, this is all this shit I'm learning from Qigong. Like, well, Qigong, sorry. So, when you, uh, when you're doing Qigong, right, the biggest thing that I've learned is that the, the movement and the looking. So, I might do a movement like this and I look. You know what I'm saying? Do movements like this. Like you understand like how the energy, using that, those movements and watching you, it's like you're controlling that energy by just looking. So now it's like an inner, inner energetic and an outer energetic thing. Then 
start controlling that shit by how how much you move and how conscious your movement is. And then you, it's a mental thing, then it's a body thing, and then you're looking, using all your eyes while you're doing these body movements. It just creates like a even cooler fucking workout. You know, it's like an exercise at the same time as well. So just like building on that shit, it like it makes it a cooler fucking workout, honestly. So that's why I can't wait to show y'all these uh, these particular streams I'm doing. And I'm just doing them all in a row. So I'll definitely be doing that shit with y'all. Showing y'all these uh, Qigong stances. I do, them, I'm, I do them just about every day. I'm trying to get to where I do it twice a day. But since my sleep schedule was fucked up today, I ended up not doing it this morning. But I definitely will be doing it tonight just to wind down. I'll probably find one to wind down with. But yeah. That's pretty much all that's been going on, tapping into myself, because that's what this channel is always going to be about, is tapping into the self and learning more about yourself and then putting y'all into my journey, showing y'all what I got going on, and of course the radio show, so pretty much what it is. I'm Lord Shoe X. You just watched the episode of Lord of Perfected Work. Please check out the website, shoelovesrebels.com. Check out all the links in the chat. Um, share this live with your friends. Subscribe at Tier 3 so you can get all these projects for free that I, I'm about to drop. And the book. I don't know when I'm dropping the book itself because the book is going to be for sale by itself as well. But we'll see what happens. I don't really have like an official cover, you know, no bullshit like that. But we'll see what's up. I'll keep y'all updated on the book, but I know for sure the merch website is going to have merch. And if you buy merch, you get the book and the album for free. If you buy the book, you get the album for free. And if you um, if you subscribe at tier three on here, I will give you the album for free, the book for free, and you will be put in an entry for the giveaway, which I'm doing the giveaway on... Uh, September 21st and you have to have a Twitch and an Instagram to do this so give me all a heads up I will give y'all a heads up every time about this on the next streams that I do and I'm doing several streams this week because I'm back to my regular schedule programming I'm sorry y'all I, I really am I apologize for not doing the streams but I just had to get this fucking album finished so I can give y'all this work man okay I'm sure y'all understand so Please, please forgive me. But y'all know I had to create that work for y'all, man. So it's not just sitting in a vault like it's been doing the past four years. I can't believe it took me four years to do this fucking project. But y'all know what it is. Lord Shoe X. Y'all watch the episode of Lord Perfected Work. Much love to you, yours, and the world. Please check out the website, shoelovesrebels.com. Please subscribe to the channel at Tier 3 so I can give you some free shit. Um, check out my Instagram. I'm on Instagram at Shoe Loves Rebels LLC and Lord Shoe X. Uh, also, same for Facebook, Shoe Loves Rebels LLC and uh, Lord Shoe X. Or well, actually, on Facebook, I'm just Lord Shoe. And I also have a personal Facebook. If you can find it under Lord Shoe X, boy, you're lucky. Hit up my social media. I will be posting information about that in there. Damn, my voice cracked like I'm in middle school, so I'm finna get off this bitch. <laughs> Holla. I'm out of this bitch. I'm out of this bitch. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove